What's up guys? Chase fan number 9 here. And tonight I'll be giving my thoughts and opinions on the truck race that wrapped up many hours ago, the 2019 Digital Ally 250. And with that, let's get into it. So, Matt Crafton started on the pole, he chose the outside lane, and Tyler Ankrum for DGR Crosley Racing started on the inside in second place. And Crafton led the first eight laps of the race until Stuart Fries in, in the 52 took over. And he led all the way until we had our first caution, which came out for when Brandon Jones spun in turn four. Don't worry, guys. Brandon Jones, at, at least he's in the truck instead of Kyle Busch. It's better to see him than that couple each. Of Kyle Busch himself in it. But anyways, yeah, Brandon Jones spun and managed to recover. We'll talk about that later. So they pit. Brett Moffitt led the field to, to the restart. And it was a battle between him and Friesen. And Friesen managed to take the... Managed to hold on to the lead. Managed to... Hold off a um, Moffat, I should say, and freezing one stage one, and oh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, here are the stage results. Stage one results: uh, Stuart Friesen, Brett Moffat, Grant Enfinger, Ross Chastain, Austin Hill, Matt Crafton, Todd Gilliland, Sheldon Creed, Harrison Burton, and Tyler Ankrum. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then stage two happened, and stage two began, I should say, and we didn't even make it. Sheldon Creed led the field to the start of stage two, and we didn't even make it in 10 laps before What's-Her-Name spun. Yeah, it was going good until Natalie Decker got truck went around her coming off turn four and she had no clue what happened. She tore up the front of the truck and therefore her day was pretty much over. And also there were 30 trucks in the race instead of 32. I don't know why there was not 32, but anyway. Yeah, so 32. So there were 30 trucks in the field, forgot to mention. Yeah, Sheldon Creed led the field to green, to the green. So, yeah, so after Natalie Decker spun and brought the caution, we went back racing all the way until the end of stage two, which was won by Stuart Friesen. So he swept both stages, so it's pretty good. And here are the stage two results. So top four is the same Stage one, but it, it's the rest from fifth through tenth was Creed, Crafton, Gilliland, Hit, Austin Hill, Tyler Anchorman, Ben Rhodes. Then stage three happened. So, stage three, Grant Enfinger led the field to the restart, and it was a three way battle between Enfinger. Friesen and Brett Moffat and they were having great runs pretty awesome and then we had pit stops happen and finger pit before everyone else did. and then Friesen and all those other guys came in but this is where I started to get a little concerned it's when Friesen came down there was a little like miscommunication that I'm gonna talk about later and they weren't sure if they got the truck Stewart's Friesen's truck full of fuel or not and yeah I couldn't figure it out there until the end and I thought the race was from the end of stage 2 all the way to the check I thought it was just going to be like that well that was until with I think like 28 laps to go um Brett Moffin was going inside the end finger and he just spun himself out and that was pretty much that pretty much derailed both of their chances of winning. Because Stuart Friesen, he had a five-second lead over those two. And I thought 
this caution was going to help save, help him save fuel. So, yeah, pretty unfortunate for Moffat. At least he's trying. He'll get a win soon. He'll probably win Charlotte, even though Bush is going to be in. But anyway, yeah, so we get back racing with um, 25 to go. And five laps after that restart, um... Josh Rayom, the 33 truck, stalled in turn four, and his n night was pretty much over from there. So, rip Josh Rayom. And pretty much, then we had the restart, and there was some great racing, too. Back to the Friesen's end finger bout. We, I see end finger run the bottom, and I and the top two and Friesen was mostly using that Kyle Larson line going on top so that was pretty yeah if I were Friesen I'd run the high lane like like he and Larson would do so yeah so that's some um, pretty that was pretty cool and then we had Chastain but he wasn't in fact until that caution for um Moffat and Anfin Camp but anyways then we had the restart with 16 laps to go and Thought I was just gonna, yeah. Stuart Freeze and Ben Rose, they were having an epic battle, and then Ben Rose got shuffled back out of line. He was, he's not, he wasn't gonna have enough time to catch them. At least, and also, another thing I forgot to mention Johnny Sauter, who won last Friday at Dover, he had a mechanical problem and it derailed his chances, but it's no big deal for me. I, I like Johnny Sauter now more now especially after last year but anyways yeah he he went to the garage with i think like a transmission problem or something something they showed it in the footage when the thing broke and yeah he, he was pretty much fucked he did finish the race but he finished 70 laps down so that was pretty unfortunate um but anyways yeah he finished complete 97 laps Finished 22nd, 70 laps down, but anyway, to the race, so Rhodes and Friesen bound, and then Friesen managed to get away from f from Rhodes, and it was pretty much off, and then, and then here comes Chastain, Chastain's there, Rhodes there, and Todd Gilliland, who we'll talk about later, appeared, so yeah, Stuart Friesen was the, and I was like, I was like, come on, Friesen, don't do, and just when I thought Friesen had this race won, Stuart Friesen, miscommunication with between he and his crew members fucked him over. He ran out of gas coming into turn one. That was pretty much over, and he was pretty much fucked. And the thing is, I like Chastain, Friesen, Chastain, Rhodes, and Gillen. So it's going to be either one of those four. And luckily, one of my picks for when any of the other type of bad day was right there when. Right there when it counted. Ross Chastain takes the lead. And he was set sailing from there. Takes the white flag. And with that. Ross Chastain. Who's been close so many times this year. Finally gets that first truck series win. Some get his first Xfinity win last September in Vegas. I get seeing win his first truck race at Kansas. So I like even more now Ross Chastain. Awesome job. Keep it up. And this is his first win of his career in trucks. First win this year for Chevrolet. And the first win for Al Nice's team, Nice Motorsports. Good job, you guys. Awesome. I want to see more out of you. By the way, Chastain's not running the full season for trucks. He's just there just because. He's not running for points either. He's going to share that car with someone else and Kyle Benjamin who I can't wait to see what Benjamin does and yeah so it was a pretty decent race Ben Rhodes well I'll get to yeah so it was cool to see I want to see Ross Chastain um do like a I want to see him smash a watermelon be cool but I think it would be awkward since he was not in the watermelon scheme so it was pretty much so the watermelon farmer from Florida does it Good job, Chastain. The Ian Nation and Jimmy 48 fan will be happy about this and others who have rooted for you. See, this is what we need. We need someone like Chastain to take a piece of, piece of shit equipment and turn those cars, 
make winners out of those tricks. So go get him Chastain. So Ross Chastain won. Stuart Friesen finished 15th. <sighs> Come on, Chastain. I mean, Friesen, you're almost there, man. Let's go get him at Charlotte, even though Bush might win. But anyways, keep on keep on trucking, Friesen. Anyways, here are the results. Ross Chastain gets the win. Ben Rhodes second. Todd Gillen with a career day today finished third. Austin Hill fourth. Brandon Jones, who brought that first caution, finishes fifth. Paul Sitter, Matt Crafton sixth. Grant Enfinger seventh. Brett Moffat eighth. Excuse me. Riley Herbst in the 46 truck ninth. And Harrison Burton tenth. And Tyler Ankrum and Tyler Dipple round out the top 12. Oh, and one more thing. Joey Gase was in the field and he drove the 10 truck for Jen Joe Cobb, who crashed in qualifying if you guys may or may not have seen it and Joey Gase he was in the 10 truck but he didn't he didn't complete a, s a single lap I'm like what's the point of him even when he's not gonna do anything but whatever it's starting parks and also Austin Wayne self who was reinstated before last week's truck race had issues Natalie Decker got a DNF Josh Rion Brought that caution, got a DNF, and that was pretty. And also, Creed had a something happen to him. I forgot what happened, but anyways, that's pretty much it. Anyways, that's my race review for for today. IndyCar race. If anyone's watching IndyCar, it's tomorrow. It's the Indy Grand Prix at, on the road course. Excuse. Me. I'll be doing a reaction video to that and the coverage, which is tomorrow night, so I can't wait for that. Be a face cam or race reaction, whatever. But anyways, that's pretty much it. And I'll do a race review for Cup as well. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And with that, I will see you all in the videos that will come out tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.